It's cocktail o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer, cocktail of the week with Saray. Yes, yes, How are you yes. doing, Saray? You all right? All right, yeah, yeah. Good. Another busy week. Another busy week. Now this time, what cocktail are we going to be doing? The famous Porn Star Martini. Porn Star Martini. Now, yeah. I've always been curious, why Porn Star Martini? Well... What, in the name? Or in the, the name, yeah, so in the name. Why, the name. why do they call it Porn Star Martini? So the reason behind it is purely because it's what's considered that people thought porn stars would drink. Really? There's no real reason. There's no real just reason. Just an opinion that someone just has. someone's opinion that... I thought this, you know, this drink is absolutely stunning. This is something the porn stars would drink. Okay. And so that is literally it. People with money then. People with... Basically, people yeah. With yeah. Lots of Basically, money. Basically, yeah. I tend to drink it myself. I don't know what yeah. that says about me, but you know, yeah, it's, it's one of the best sellers, and it's actually one of my favourite. Fantastic! It's so fruity, um, and yeah, it, it's it's quite an old drink now. It's an, yeah, I think yeah, it's, it's one of the. It definitely is a classic. I've never tried one, but it's certainly one of those ones I've heard of. Yeah. So, how what what goes in so, there first? Vanilla vodka. Yes. That's probably the main ingredient. Um, some people do choose to use normal vodka and put syrup in, vanilla syrup. Yeah. But there's no point going around it. Just use the pure, absolute vanilla vodka and you'll smell that. You know the one we, we had oh, last time? Yeah, it's yeah. exactly the same as that, just a different brand. It's all like um, that. Absolutely beautiful. We'll open that now. And then the other main ingredient is a soa. That's just the name. It's actually a passion fruit liqueur. Okay. Um, so you can, and let me show you actually, you can get other brands. Um, the only reason we stick to Pessoa for this drink is yeah. the colour. Right. Porn Star Martini is quite famous for the orange colour with froth on top. Okay. It okay. makes and, it look really that, pretty. And, and that Pessoa. Pessoa is the colour. This is quite clear. Right. So you would get kind of a clear looking drink with a bit of foam. Yeah. And if you see that, you wouldn't recognise it straight away for being a Porn Star Martini. Right, okay. So to me, yeah. you know like an espresso martini you would associate with being brown? It's yeah. coffee bean, so you'd know by the look. Right. This really makes the Pornstar Martini look like the Pornstar Martini. Um, and okay, it's just, I'm, I'm right. Sorry, it's a passion fruit liqueur and it's absolutely beautiful. And it's, it's a beautiful. different, we've got a different style glass. Martini though. glass. Martini um, glass. To accompany these, we've got a fresh lime. Fresh lime. To squeeze. Fresh lime to squeeze. Okay. And then we've got the main ingredient um, for the mixer is the Rubicon passion fruit juice. It right. doesn't have to be Rubicon. But a passion fruit it's juice really is very hard one. to find. Rubicon is basically the one you can find everywhere. Fantastic. Anywhere and everywhere. And is that um, Prosecco? Yes. Well? So with the, with the Pons de Martini, it comes along with a shot of Prosecco. Yeah. So now again, divided opinion. Some choose to put the Prosecco shot into it. Right. My opinion, that would be drink. You okay. only taste this Prosecco. Right. It's a very strong taste of Prosecco. It's fizzy. Okay. Um, so what a lot of people do, like myself, is shot it back and then enjoy your drink. Oh, um, if right. you have a look at if you look it up, it is to be taken before the drink, not to add. Okay. But again, people do it. Okay, and yeah. the advantage of not having it in your drink pre, pre-made, pre yeah. you get more Porn Star Martini because we fill the glass right. and then you get your sides. Right, do you right, see what right. I mean? I'm totally with you. So you get more, totally you get more. You. So um, that's it really. That's it. So what am I doing first? What am I doing? Am I... Oh. Ice. Ice. Yeah. Here we go. Let's get some right. ice. Yep. How much ice do we That's big spoon absolutely fine, for? yeah, yeah. Because we go. Again, we have to make all the um, liquids cold. So the more ice you got, the more we make it cold. That's great. So then in here, do you remember what this is called? A jiggler. Jigger. Jigger. Yes. Needed it. Well, I'm going to get it right. I, I actually was quite impressed. I'm going to get it right one week. Are, you are. That's a jigger. That's so a jigger. remember the alcohol. How much do we put in? Right with the top. Absolutely to yes. the top. Again, you can have a whiff of vanilla vodka. It's absolutely beautiful. This is abs. Oh wow! Absolute vanilla yes. vodka. My goodness me, that smells fantastic. Lovely. Yeah, yeah, Sweet. really good. Yeah. It takes the alcoholic smell. You know when you smell someone who's been drinking all night. Yeah. You can have quite sick of alcohol with this. It's not that stenchy smell. It's really nice, sweet. You could drink that all night, so I wouldn't think you're alcoholic at all. I can really get it now. <laughs> but do you want to know a fun fact about my beer reviews? Yes. I struggle. I, I just put that in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I struggle to taste vanilla in beer. Really? And when I look at the label, at the back it says vanilla. Vanilla. When it's in beers, I struggle to find the vanilla. It's just it's just something in my beer reviewing vocabulary and that I just cannot get to grips with. You know I know cannot nothing about beer yet, with, with, right? With, yeah. Maybe there's not enough. Maybe we should just start maybe putting vanilla in beers more. There should be a little bit more vanilla in the beer. Maybe, maybe beer yeah. watchers don't hate yeah. me. I don't know anything about beer. <laughs> maybe someone should make a beer with vanilla that you would taste the vanilla in because it's making nicer. Well. 
Well, uh, cinnamon. Cinnamon's the other one. Yeah. I struggle to find cinnamon in really? beer. Really? Yeah. It just yeah. gets lost, and is it? Big... No, no, no. Lots of people get it, but it's just something, it's like a yeah. part of my... Yeah. That's strange. Tasting that I just can never see. I'm going to ask you after this if you can taste the vanilla. I can definitely get it. It's Smell really it, okay. but let's yeah, yeah. see now. Okay. Right. Passion fruit liqueur. Snap. That is beautiful. Do I, I shake the bottom? Yeah. You, no, we'll shake it in there now. So you just, oh, again, yeah, yeah, one yeah, jigger. Right. But have a good smell of that and you'll see. That is what makes it pause down and it beautiful. Oh, wow. Passion fruit liqueur yeah. is really strong. We put that in a couple of the cocktails which we'll get to. Um, but it is an absolute beautiful liqueur. Oh, look at the colour. It's, see what I mean? It's like it's bright, bright orange. Yeah, so it's like, like a orange, pinky. Red. I would really want to. Maybe I'm colourblind, but it is definitely the colour that it's makes it pour into that martini. And we'll see it when we pour it. Yes, and yes. Pour ice, it. Yeah? I'll pour it from the height so you can see the colour. Beautiful. You see that? Fantastic. Right, so now, if you want to cut a lime in half. Right, okay. There we go. My carpentry skills will come in. Yeah, you know how to cut that by myself. <laughs> right, there we go. Then we should just stick the one line side down. That way? Yep, yeah, like that. Okay, look yeah. for the camera. And then, then you squeeze that over your shaker. Oh, cool. Oh, look at that. Yeah. See, this is new to me. This we don't always use bottles of uh, juice. It's purely if we've got an order like five six people we're not going to sit there and let them wait for us to cut every bit of fruit yeah and do it. yeah it's more for the fact that we have to get orders out quick fast and conveniently oh, okay and now we top half the shaker with our rubicon passion fruit That's juice the oh, I we see pour it in nice. here just because we refrigerate it and make sure it's fresh so okay, half fresh. half so of this do you pour it straight into the shaker and just to, to cover the ice half yeah half halfway let me know when. That's perfect. Right, okay. There we go. And now you're ready to do your shaking until you can see the conversation on the outside of the shaker. Brilliant. Okay. Oh, I see you. Yeah, there we go. Keep going. Keep going. By the time we finish this machine, I want you to know that. Good. Yeah. <laughs> Ball flipping. Knocking everything over. Yeah, we'll There we go. Right, there and we now go. Now with this one, because we don't want any ice inside our glass, yeah. we're going to use a filter, it's like a sieve, ah. and we just want, what you do with this, right, right. you hold the, the shaker like that, Yeah. you push this to the end, so the springs, right. you hold that, and then you hold it like that. I got you. This then... stops the ice falling out, and hopefully you get a nice foam on the end. Ah. Do you see what I mean? Yeah, very clever. That's like that, perfect, yeah. and then into the glass, so yeah? So put the glass down, there we go, and then pour the shaker in. Right. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Yeah, keep going. Keep going. Yeah. Keep going. How's there that? There we go. Yeah. Beautiful. And then that looks wonderful. If you cut the end of one of these from probably about there. This is a passion fruit, passion yeah? Passion fruit. Now, this is the finishing touch. Okay. Yep, perfect. Right. And then, and then you just literally put that inside there. Here we go. A bit of passion fruit. I got some of these in my And that. That's it. And then obviously you have your shot of prosecco on the side. Right. Okay. Wow. There we go. That's absolutely perfect. And then if you let me move this and this and this out of the way, you have got yourself a porcelain martini. How did I do? Absolutely perfect. Yeah. I told you if you need a job. Just pop down. There we go. Look at that. That is fabulous. So we have a porn star martini. I'm gonna. A, well, you don't need a straw, but there's a, a martini straw there. You have to sell. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna stick my guns in there. Yeah. Oh, that's really good. Isn't it beautiful? What do you think? That is so refreshing. It's so a summery, drink. refreshing. Absolutely, you know, well, you can see, yeah, it's a holiday. Oh, I could drink loads of that. Yes, I could that's, drink loads that's of that. the only problem, okay, is if it was up to me, I'd drink in a pint glass. Yeah. But the measures, you you know, if you were to fill out with a pint glass, you wouldn't yeah. use alcohol because it's one ounce of each. That actual amount mm. is the perfect taste for everything. 
Fantastic. You know, the liqueur, the um, vodka, the lime juice, the half a lime juice, it just complements each other. Really, you know, really nice. Really and then well. the Prosecco, I'll have a little sip of the Prosecco as well. Wow. So imagine on a shot of that, before you enjoy that, you kind of think you've got your money's worth because, oh. you know, no, no corners were cut. It's, it's absolutely beautiful. And that goes together really, really well. And imagine. So, in terms of the cocktails we've had so far, yeah. is this your number one seller? It's out of everything, yeah. Oh, so, like we said, there's 22 Good. cocktails on the menu. Yeah. And when, say, for example, we had a hen party on Saturday, there's 15 people who walked in, I knew automatically at least five was going to be full of Really? Teams. So, you started prepping and straight I knew, away? I said to the girls, I'm going to go over and take the order, start cutting past fruit, we know we got this. Right. And I'm not joking, and the girls are probably watching this, you can correct me. We walked over, I said, there's seven Ponce Martinis, two wow. strawberry daiquiris five Long Island iced teas, yeah. and already the three that we've done are the first three that came out of the people's we, mouths. Uh, are we done on the channel? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 Absolutely um, fantastic. You know, and then obviously came the Tutti Fruities, which we can make there, the layered coloured ones, and yeah. people like it for the Instagram pictures and mm -hmm. Snapchats. Mm -hmm. So they are, but they were definitely the first three, Porn Star being the first. Porn Star Martini. Yeah. So, I really like that. I can see myself drinking a lot of that. Um, on next week's episode, we've got a really good one coming up. Um, because Soraya has ordered, let me get a bottle. Yeah, help yourself, man. So Soraya's helping me with the cocktails, and I thought I'd give a little bit back and help Soraya with the beers. So what I intend to do after we finish filming today, we're going to set Soraya up with an untapped account. Um, untapped, I think it's called Untapped for Business. Um, this is a pour on a vice beer. Uh, sorry, you sent it for three pound a bottle. Yeah, three pound a bottle. Three pound a bottle. Um, the glasses are on order. The gra glasses are going to be coming, and we're going to freeze. I say we. Glass. Yeah, no, you're right. We are. Saray is going to freeze the glasses in the freezer. So when you order a bottle of Paulina, it's already nice and cold from Saray's. It's going to come with a freezing cold, frosted, uh, yeah. rice beer glass. Um, and I'll show Saraya how to pour a vice beer, because there's a special way you pour I've never this. tasted drunk, open to beer in my life. When ever, the glasses ever. come, next week's episode, what should we do next week with a cocktail? Um, what what pop, cocktail should we do? Maybe Tutti Frutti, it's quite something where mixology is used more, okay. you know, balancing out colours and separating colours. Okay, maybe we'll do that. Like attractive looking, be fun. And then after yeah. that, we'll we'll review and you can taste your first pour on a vice beer, oh. and I'll show you, <laughs> yeah, I'll yeah, show yeah. you how to pour the vice 100%, beer. 100%, I love that. Um, I, you know, like you with the cocktails, I can honestly say, and everybody who knows me, I've never tasted a beer or side anything apart from a cocktail. Brilliant. So what, what? I'll be very quick with this app because I don't want to bore yeah, you, no, and no, I don't want to bore my my audience. So with Untapped, you set it up as a business account, and you can say you've got Paul on her. Yeah. So I will come in. I'll open my app, my Untapped app. I'll I'll give a description. I'll, I'll find Paul on there. Okay. I'll put it on the app and I'll say I've been drinking Paul on in Therese. Oh, so it's a okay, beer. Yeah. It's a beer social network. I, I'm not going to lie. Again, I don't want to bore and keep you, but I never knew how big beer was. Oh, it's you massive. Know, when I went to order this, it comes yeah. from Munich in Germany. M Munich in Germany. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah and yeah. Um, um, when I ring them, I couldn't really understand it. And they yeah, went yeah. through a list. And I was like, what? There's that many? And they're like, yeah. So oh. I have to show them the picture. I was like, okay, yeah, yes, please. And I'm not going to lie, you know it came in on Friday, I think it was. Friday, we haven't even got the glasses yet. Friday yeah. and Saturday, we sold 15 bottles. Um, and I said, did you? What? what? No, really, that's all. Wow. Yeah, yeah, we had the two big crates. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's it's left. Oh, so I was like, well, oh. I did. Oh, yeah, I didn't even know that. I was like, oh my god, it's okay. I was keeping up for Simon. Yeah, no, 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 it's perfect. But no, I'm going to order more now, and I just was a bit shocked myself. Yeah. Because it's new to me, hundreds that new to me. Well, what will happen? People will go on this app. This, yeah. it's, like a, it's like Facebook. Facebook for beer. Okay. So people will put in, where can I get a pour on a vice beer? Yeah. And your place, if it's the nearest location, yeah, come yeah, yeah. That's people crazy. will be able to order it, comment, chat with each other. Yeah. Yeah. So, th so that'll be on next week's episode. Tutti Fruity first, followed by Soraya's first tasting of a pour on a vice yeah. beer. Yeah. Fantastic. I hope you liked the video. Um, I hope it was kind of informative. Um, again, it's a brand new thing. It's a brand new kind of part of the series for us. Thanks for watching. Boom, cheers.